let's go over exactly how to farm and also easy a the baba shop units and what i mean by that is if we go to the news tab here we go to this towards the extreme realm campaign there are five characters you can purchase in the baba point shop it's this great saiyan man this uh krillin right here in the piccolo outfit this free to play deborah this free to play master roshi max power and also this free to play napa right here and all of them um through this update that we just recently got uh you're able to complete some missions to get their extreme z awakening medals um and you do need these characters for these missions i'll go over exactly how to complete the missions missions in just a minute i can't talk today um but we'll go ahead and close that and we'll go ahead to the baba point shop here and show you exactly what i mean by uh, the fact that you can purchase them right here, like I said, 20,000 points a piece. And as you can see, there's four of the, four out of the five units here. The Krillin is missing. So there's an update timer up here. When that updates, there's a chance for that Krillin to come back so you can purchase him. You do want to purchase these guys when they are available. If you want to, if you, if you want to, uh, farm them up and also extremes, you awaken them. I'll tell you right now, they're not great units, but it's a very good idea to get every free to play unit in the game because you never know they might drop a baba point shop lr where you know you can doke on awaken the lr from the baba point shop and get his doke on awakening medals and then you'll need these five units in his extreme z area to extreme z awaken that lr you never know something like that may happen so and that's the case you know with a lot of free to play lrs not with a lot with every free to play lr a pool of free to play characters are usually required to um, get those extreme z awakening medals for a free to play lr so just keep that in mind to get baba points you can actually farm up free to play ssr units if we go here there are plenty of story events where you can farm up units just choose a just choose a story event that would be easiest for you to farm a free to play unit is there one with an ssr the new path to power goku right here or path to power story even i should say you can uh recruit this ssr yamcha right here let's actually go into the stage um we'll go into it and i don't really have a lot of lrs in this boost category on this stage because the boost category is db saga and db saga is very far and few between when it comes to uh units in the game in general let alone lrs so we'll go ahead and complete this stage to recruit a yamcha hopefully and then uh, we'll go ahead and sell them in the Bapa Point shop here. Something I do not know, and we'll find out right now, is I'm not sure if a free-to-play SSR that Dokkan Awaken that Dokkan Awakens into a TUR would be worth a thousand points. I know an SSR that Dokkan Awakens into an LR is worth a thousand Baba points. But hopefully we can uh, farm at least one copy of him right now to see if that's the case. If you can get a thousand Baba points per um ssr yamcha right here all right free recruited one character that's good and then uh we'll go ahead and get out of here and go sell him in the baba shop to see exactly how many points you can get from him but we'll go ahead and hit the plus tab here go to characters we'll scroll all the way down here and let's see how much how many points you can get for this free to play yamcha right here so it's a thousand okay so it's any ssr so an event like that um choose any story event that's available if it's that story event that's fine or if it's another story event where you can recruit another ssr that's fine too the point is an ssr unit is the best way to go because they give you a thousand points per unit and so you can farm up a good amount of units get some baba points so that you can purchase these baba shop units in here and then their dogon awakening medals are actually purchased with zenny and that's this ghost usher right here unfortunately on global you can only purchase one per day i know sad as it is you can only purchase one per day but with a future update that jp has already gotten you can actually purchase an infinite amount virtually as long as you have the zenny available if you want to start purchasing one a day that's fine or or if you want to wait for the the update to come where you can purchase them unlimitedly that's okay too um i don't think you need to necessarily grind them right away but you can use this video to help you uh get it done when it does eventually update and you can purchase them unlimitedly 
And so that's the Dokkan Awakening Medal. You're going to need seven Dokkan Awakening Medals per unit. So that'll be 35 Dokkan Awakening Medals for the main copy. And then uh, you do want to purchase enough copies to make a dud copy. And what I mean by that, or fodder copy, I should say. I'll go ahead and go here. We'll show this Nappa I have as an example. As you can see right here, I have two different Nappas. Or it's the same Nappa, but two different unit cards right here. So I have my main copy of Nappa right here. I have him at Super Attack Level 10 and all his hidden potential paths unlocked. And then I have a second copy at Super Attack Level 6. It should be at Level 5. I accidentally put one more into him than I wanted to. Don't need to unlock his hidden potential system because this is your fodder copy for when you actually do EZA the unit. Because once you EZA him, just like all the others, uh, his Super Attack goes from Level 10 to 15. And so once that happens, you can actually use the fodder copy at Super Attack Level 5 and train your main copy with this fodder copy to raise the super attack to level 15 in a free to play way without in using any grand kais or elder kais so you get to save your kais as long as you get the copies that you need if you want to go about it in that way you only need 19 copies for the deborah and the master roshi only because there are actually no other ways to raise their super attacks outside of purchasing these baba shop units but for this napa this great saiyan man and also the krillin which is not here at the moment there are other methods you can use to raise their super attacks for free by farming up ssr copies or in the napa's case an sr copy of napa to raise their super attacks that way you can save yourself some baba points and you don't have to purchase as many of these units as you would um, if it were the situation that Deborah and this Master Roshi Max Power is in. For the Great Saiyan Man, the Krillin, and the Nappa, you only need one for your main copy, and then you need four more to unlock their hidden potential system paths, which would be five copies total, and then an extra copy for the fodder copy. So six copies in total from the actual Baba shop, Baba Point shop here. Um, that'll be six copies of the Nappa, six copies of the Great Saiyan, and six copies of the Krillin. How many total points is that? Let's actually calculate that real quick because I didn't do that before the video. So you actually need a million one hundred twenty thousand Baba points to uh, get all the copies that you need. There's the exact number that you need, or the exact amount that you need, so you know, um, or so you have that information. But let's go ahead and show you exactly how to form the super attacks of the great Saiyan man Nappa and also the Krillin without having to purchase you know more copies than you need from the Baba point shop so we have the great Saiyan man pulled up here so you have a few options here and this guy can actually be farmed in the story event wrath of the dragon and the increased drop rate uh, comes from the category storied figures and then the other great Saiyan man right here the str one he can be farmed in this story event mass revival and mass chaos parade of the dead and the bonus drop rate increases with the revenge category units on your team as for the krillin right here you actually have three different options to farm this ssr krillin you can farm him in the story event faded history the saiyan in rebellion the increased drop rate is revenge once again Oh, I totally forgot to tell you which level it is. My bad. So the level to farm this Intelligence Great Salmon right here from the Wrath of the Dragon, it's going to be level 2, Bewitching Monster. And then the level to farm the STR Great Salmon right here. Oh, there's only one level. Huh. Okay. So level 1, Parade of the Dead. Got it. And then for this Krillin, you can farm him in level four clash against frieza in this story event faded history the saiyan and rebellion and then the other krillin that you can farm is the prime battle physical lr krillin and in his prime battle all out all out earthling warrior and just like every prime battle uh, you can farm the actual unit in level one spirited earth defense and then we have this nappa right here now unfortunately he does not have a free to play ssr that you can grind up so you're gonna have to grind up an sr from the dragon ball story a new threat the saiyan warrior race and he can be farmed in level eight a little light now an sr is not so bad i mean it, ssrs give you a 50 percent chance of raising the super attack level whereas srs give you a 30 percent chance so it might take a few more copies of this napa to fully raise your 
Nappa's uh, super attack level to 10, and also the fodder copies super attack level to 5. But that's okay, it's a free to play way without having to use any Elder Kai's or Grand Kai's, or without having to, you know, get as many Baba points to have to purchase him more than you have to when you have a, an option right here. Don't get me wrong, I'm just providing you options to uh, save you some time in grinding baba points but if you choose to grind more baba points to get the exact copies of the great saiyaman krillin and, and this nappa to get 19 copies of them as well go ahead that's an option for you too if you'd rather do that i'm just giving you a broad range of options for you to uh look at and think about so that you can make a choice for yourself on how you want to go about grinding these baba shop point units and as promised at the beginning of the video i'm going to show you exactly what missions there are to be done and how to complete them uh to get their extreme z awakening medals so if you go to the mission tab and then go to event missions right here then go to the towards the extreme realm campaign missions right here the missions are very simple and easy um, I'm going to use this great Saiyan man here for an example, since he's the first one that is available, or the first medals that are available. So it says clear any stage three times with a specified character on your team. So with the great Saiyan man on your team. World tournament and ultimate clash do not count, so you have to do any stage outside of those two events. But either way, you do need this great Saiyan man on your team to complete this, and there are 26 days left, just so you're aware and then clear any stage up to seven times with a specified character on your team to get the silver medals and then to get the gold medals here clear any stage 10 times with a specified character on your team or in this case the great saiyan man and then once you clear any stage 15 times with great saiyan man on your team uh, you get a couple of dragon stones and then the rainbow medals as well to finish his extreme z awakening and that's going to be the same exact missions or set of missions for each character and the easiest way to go about this let's go to my teams real quick this is a team i created so you don't have to necessarily use this goku uh, i am specifically because i do need to um, level up one of his links to level 10 but i would recommend getting an all types leader skill or someone who has an all types leader skill putting them in the leader slot so that you can just place all these units on this team without having to worry about a leader skill or anything like that. So with the all types leader skill, I can just literally plug them in here. And when you complete a stage 15 times, you'll complete all of those missions all at once without having to worry about completing them individually. You can complete them collectively all at once in this way. But as far as, you know, their hidden potential system and the way you should build them, they're pretty much identical units, but they have, you know, a few unique things to them. Like this great Saiyaman, he has a medium chance of evading enemies attack with three or more key spheres obtained. So unfortunately, all these units, their, their passive is locked behind how many key spheres they can get. Most of their passive. So, but the good thing about these units is, or the decent thing I should say, is they are type supports. Like this um, great same man's an AGL type support, attack and defense plus 30% and key plus two. You know, the medium chance is good. It's just that it's locked behind this three or more key spheres obtained, which is not the greatest thing in the world. So I wouldn't worry about putting crit into these guys because they are support units. They're not made to do damage. They're free to play units. So uh, I wouldn't worry about crit. I would just put points either into additionals or into dodge. This Debora right here, he has a great chance of stunning the attacked enemy with three or more key spheres obtained, which can be decently useful in Super Bad Road or something like that. This Krillin, this is actually fairly decent as well. Recovers 10% HP at the end of turn, but once again, locked behind the three or more key spheres obtained uh, condition. Napper right here, he has a high chance of performing critical hit. And then this Master Roshi, he has a medium chance of guarding all attacks with three or more key spheres obtained. Honestly, these guys are not going to get a lot of playing time. You're not going to use them that often. But with the type supports, they could be useful in things like Virtual Dokkan Ultimate Clash. Some of them will have some uses in things like Super Bad Road, maybe Extreme Super Bad Road, depending on the team. For the most part, these guys are pretty 
pretty dead on release i'm not gonna lie but once again like i said before you want to get every free to play unit that there is just in case they're needed for a future um free to play easy a just in case they're required for something like that or even something else you never know but yeah that's about it i'll catch y'all in the next video